Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm working on creating some decor pieces for a baby shower. The mom-to-be found a really nice photograph on Pinterest and she wanted to use that as her inspiration for creating the theme of her baby shower. Here is the photograph from Pinterest. It is by Leave It To Me Event Planning. I'll also place a link to their Pinterest page in the description box below. The colors that we're using are gold and royal blue and the theme for the shower is a little prince. It is really royal and just very beautiful. So what I'd like to show you today is just how easy and DIY friendly it is to create some of these decor pieces. And believe me, they can be used for just about any type of event. It could be a baby shower or it could be a wedding or something else. So if you want to find out how you can do some of these decor pieces in very little time and with step-by-step -step instructions, just stay tuned. Some supplies you will need include curling ribbon, tape, glue or perhaps a glue gun, a decorative chalkboard. You can also purchase chocolates or candy that are wrapped in the colors of your color scheme. You'll need some tablecloth for the tables, foam white balls if you decide to do a chocolate tree, some candles, toothpicks, and some ornaments like this beautiful crown, some shredded paper, candle holders, wrapping paper. These chocolates are for Rare Rocher and they're perfect for the chocolate tree. Some more ribbon, candle holders again, but these are goblets, and some additional glass jars and boxes for your party favors, as well as these scoops that are great for scooping out candy. Oh, and let's not forget these alphabet stickers and confetti. Now let's look at four designs that anyone can create. Adding gift wrap paper to empty boxes is a really easy and effective way to add volume to your display. Simply select the size of box that you would need and add gift wrap paper. Let's look at ways you can dress up your candles. Start with curling ribbon. Measure six pieces of curling ribbon, all the same length. For this, I used 12 inches. After cutting the first piece, you can use it to measure out the other five pieces. Then take your six pieces of curling ribbon and tie it securely around the top of the cellophane wrap that comes with your candle. Most candles do come with wrap, but if it doesn't, you can also add clear plastic or cellophane wrap. Once you've tied it securely, you can then curl the ribbon. Take your scissors and use the edge to firmly hold against the ribbon and pull. This will coil the curling ribbon. Repeat this step until you've curled all of the ribbon. Ensure that you have an attractive candle holder to display your candle. You can also dress up your candle holder by adding ribbon to it and tying a bow. Measure and cut 24 inches of ribbon. This ribbon has wire in it which helps the bow to hold its shape. However, you can purchase ribbon with or without wire. Cut the excess from the edge of your ribbon and also trim it at an angle to create 
a more finished look. And voila! You can display your candles in different types of holders. This one is a goblet style. For interest, add shredded paper that matches the color scheme of your theme. Another idea is to put candies or chocolates instead of a candle if you'd like some variation. And again, add curling ribbon. This time, I used longer pieces so that the coils could be loose and hang. Here's another example. This time, hard candies that are wrapped in gold are used in a plain goblet. Decorating a chalkboard is another way to display something interesting. Use chalk to write a message to your guests. Or purchase alphabet stickers to create a more polished, finished look when you display your message. Always remember to trim the edges of ribbon at an angle to ensure that the edge looks finished. On this chalkboard, we displayed the message little prints. To make a chocolate tree, you can attach these gold-covered Ferrero Rocher chocolates to this white foam ball using toothpicks. Remove the plastic packaging from your white foam ball. Then take an empty glass jar. You want to add some weight to it to ensure that it won't fall over from the weight of the chocolate that will sit on top. So I chose to add rice. Then I added some shredded paper. Take your glue stick and place it in your glue gun and get ready to glue the top of your glass jar. Then stick the foam ball on top and now it's time to add the chocolate. So take each piece individually and you're going to attach it to the top of the foam ball until you've covered the entire ball. Use a toothpick to pierce the bottom of each chocolate piece and then simply stick it into the foam. Once you've added all the pieces of chocolate, complete the look by adding gold ribbon tied in a bow. Let's take a look at how I use these simple decor pieces to decorate the baby shower cake table. If you found this tutorial helpful, please comment below. Also let me know if you plan on trying any of these decor pieces at your party. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.